Hi, I'm Carol Cerulli Lanham, the Assistant Dean for Outreach and Engagement in the School of Economic, Political, and Policy Sciences. And I'm joined by our Dean, Jennifer Holmes. And we're here today to talk to you about some of the things that make our school unique. So Dean Holmes, can you just talk a little bit about our school within UT Dallas? Sure. You know, when I think about EPS, the School of Economic, Political and Policy Sciences, one thing that I like to tell students is we're not the biggest school on campus, but we well, but we're the best. And one of the reasons is because you get all the attention you would at a small school, but in, in a large university setting. So you get all the advantages that you would find anywhere. Um, we also we're very flexible. We're very interdisciplinary. We work very well across the university with other schools and we always do that with our students interests and 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 in desires in in mind so we're pretty innovative we're interdisciplinary and we like to spend a lot of time with our students yes and speaking of our students they've been making a lot of news this year haven't they can you talk about some of the accomplishments of our students oh yeah well just just in the last few months we have one student who received a boren fellowship this is a a mix of of language study that that then involves guaranteed employment with the State Department. So this student's going to Kazakhstan. I have another student who received a Truman Fellowship. This is very, very impressive fellowship that uh, we're happy to have. So she will do do great things in the future. We have many Fulbright recipients and others. So EPS, even though again, we're one of the smaller schools in the university, but in terms of these prestigious fellowships, our students win more than half of them. Well, can you talk a little bit about, um, I know you interact with students a lot, even, um, even though you're Dean now and, and taking care of administrative duties, but what are some of your favorite things as you think about our students? Well, yeah, I mean, I like to have dinner with the freshmen, I do recruiting dinners. We, of course, have put those on hold right now, but we're doing some virtual town halls and other events. I have a tent that I'm just waiting for the green light to do some small invited mixers with students just to see how they're doing, give them a little chance to get out and interact. But our student population is, is really fun. It's a scrappy group of students. They're smart. They work hard. Many of them work, they juggle ob obligations, but they're they're just impressive. So they're very bright, very hardworking, scrappy, and it's just a lot of fun. So I think the best part of EPS and UTD really is the students. So what about, what's your favorite thing about the students? Um, so I am lucky enough to be able to meet our students from day one because I host the freshman orientations. Then I go on to teach the freshman seminar, which is called Critical Issues in the Social Sciences. So it's really great when students come in as freshmen to meet them from day one. But I also get to connect with the transfer students at the different events that you mentioned. And so for me, it's that personal connection because again, since we, we are not as large as some of the other schools on campus, I actually have the opportunity to connect one on one with a lot of our students all along their college journey. So these days, you know, we know a lot has changed and that the pandemic has really altered the way we live our daily lives. Can you talk a little bit about how the School um, of Economic, Political and Policy Sciences has adapted to this new normal? Sure, I think, you know, one thing for students to know and for parents to know is that we have different options. So some of our classes this fall are in person, traditional, socially distanced, of course. Some of them are, are truly online, others are remote, and we have a couple of options in between. And so what we understand that this pandemic is is something that can affect people very differently. People have different risk factors, their families do. So we're really trying to respect that and, and give people options of what they feel comfortable with. So we do have those options from face to face all the way to truly online. And students get to see which class is offered in what way and make a choice that works with them. So I, I'm very proud of that flexibility. Um, the other thing is, we have taken this challenge as, as an opportunity to innovate and to more fully support our students. 
Um, you know, so EPS has thousands of alums that a lot of them are in Dallas, but not all of them are. We have alums in Colombia, we have them in India, we have them in California, we have them all over. So as we launch this new set of programming where it is remote, either through Teams Live like this or, or some other platform, we've been able to do a lot of new things and they've been so successful, we're gonna continue. So I'm just gonna tell you briefly about three of them. First is an Ask Me Anything series. And in this, we, we tip, we typically pick a supporter or an alum from a different major and they could come in and take questions from students about about their career path or or specialized things about say how to network virtually or how to get an internship or or any topic like that we also launched a new pathways to employment series that we're focusing on different sectors so the first one was on usa jobs and government employment another one is on EPS entrepreneurs as we have a lot of students who either start companies or become very uh, advanced in in business and we have another one big data and government i mean it's just very interesting so this is separate paths in different sectors employment and the last one is i hate to say it but it's been fun we have a new speaker series called the pandemic and policy practice and politics and as you have all been living this pandemic is having a big impact on a lot of different sectors on education on employment on city finances it has a sociological aspect where it's hitting some groups much harder than others in terms of ethnic backgrounds and, and socioeconomic status. So we've been looking at the pandemic in these different disciplinary lenses with an eye towards policy. So those are just three things that we've started since March. So I hope that gives you an idea that, that we are pretty innovative. We try to be flexible. We do that for our students and we also do it in, in how, we, how we operate. So we've taken this challenge as an opportunity to actually serve our students even better. It gives them more options. Well, thank you, Dean Holmes. And you can find out more about the various series that, that she just told you about on our website at eps.utdallas.edu or on our social media channels at UTD EPS.